Hi, since we all know that uh, volatility is considered as a measure of risk and standard deviation is the proxy for volatility that is being used in the financial world, I thought we should uh, go ahead and try and calculate the standard deviation of a particular stock or the stock's prices. Now remember that uh, standard deviation cannot be calculated on the stock's price but actually on the stock returns because the returns are which are considered to be normally distributed. So to calculate the standard deviation, we have taken uh, as, a, as an example l and uh, as a stock whose last one year's daily closing prices are displayed here. We will now calculate the daily return for l and which will be calculated using a formula called today minus yesterday's price divided by yesterday's price. We then uh, calculate this across the day's data available for us for the last one year. Uh, now what we do here is we'll find that we'll have to calculate the standard deviation of this daily returns of data and we can do that using a formula called STDEV. Select the entire data. This is the formula STDEV. Select the data and calculate the standard deviation of a set of uh, data which is given to you. Remember, however, that this standard deviation that we have calculated is actually daily. It's not uh, an annual standard deviation or annualized standard deviation, which is what our eventual aim is to calculate. To calculate that, we'll first have to convert this number into a variance number, which is nothing but the square of standard deviation. So to calculate the square of standard deviation, we will multiply this number by itself to give us the variance. Again, the variance is a daily variance. It's not an annualized variance. To convert it to an annualized number, we'll have to first calculate the number of trading days in the year. Usually there are about 250, 252 trading days in the year. For simplicity, we'll keep it at 250 trading days, uh, taking out roughly about 104 Saturdays and Sundays uh, of the year, some other holidays as well. Annualized variance would be nothing but the daily variance we have calculated multiplied by the number of days. Once you have calculated this number, annualized standard deviation is nothing but square root of the annualized variance. So we have to find out the square root which can be found out using a function called SQRT of this data point which is the annualized variance and this will give us the actual standard deviation on an annualized basis for the stock of LNT. We find that annualized standard deviation for the stock of LNT is 35%. This number can now be used as a proxy for volatility of this stock across various calculations in finance. Thank you.